Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. I'm going to show you in this video uh, the main new feature that is coming in Camera Bag 2021.3, which is uh, alpha support. So this image, it's a square image, but you can see the rounded corners and uh, there's just alpha transparency there. Um, in a previous version of Camera Bags, that would just import as black instead of actually transparent. And now you'll be able to work with images like this is basically a button that you might use on a website or something and I'll show you some of the ways camera bag can be handy for this kind of thing so I made this graphic in a um, in a vector art program and then exported it as a PNG with transparency and so um, anyway this is one of the useful things you can do with camera bag now um, so say that you've got buttons for a website or a video game or something um, some handy things you can do you can use just all of camera bags normal tools um, coloring might be a good one, so maybe you want to make um, a bunch of different buttons that are different colors, or maybe you know just have a few different colors, and so you can use this um, coloring with the dye method works good for this, where you can just sort of change the color to whatever you want, and uh, and it can be handy to do it here rather than in your uh, vector art program for a few reasons, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but one of the nice things is that with camera bag's recent addition of um, text overlay, you can easily make uh, text over these images like this for button images. Um, say this is like on a website, it's a buy now button or something. Um, anyway, you can use camera bag's tools for like choosing the font or whatever um, and change the size and everything, of course. And so uh, then you start to be able to do some neat things of getting varieties and being able to generate a bunch of options. So one of the nice things about using camera bag for this um, part of your process is that you might want to have like a few different options that you use. So maybe I want my website to have like, you know, some like blue buttons like this. And so maybe I will, whoops. Um, what I'll do is I'll nest this um, and let's call it blue and then I can toggle that off but then maybe I want another variation on the website that maybe it's like uh, like a kind of a black but um, black background so let me use a tone curve and maybe something like that so then I can nest these and we'll call it um, uh, black and then I can easily have both of these saved in this filter and toggle them on or off and uh, it lets me switch between basically um, different defaults so you can set up a nice workflow um, save this as a preset you know and you can have however many of these you want down here um, and then uh, do lots of editing on, on things like buttons and other things with transparency um, in a nice sort of, uh, you can use batch processing and whatnot and it's a, it's a really nice workflow. Another use for this um, alpha stuff would be uh, potentially something like texture maps for video games or 3D graphics in general. So here's a leaf that's just on a transparent background. Um, but maybe you've got like you're doing some 3D modeling or something, maybe using our 3D modeler silo. Um, and you can take these images like this that have that transparency and just, you know, adjust them with your normal photo editing stuff to get the exact color you want. Um, there's another one that uh, can be neat. So maybe, maybe you have trees and you want to make them um, autumn colored and so I could come in here and try different colors and export these. So maybe I would have, you know, export four or five different leaf colors, just changing this a little bit. And then I would use those in my 3D uh, modeling application and mix them up. And then you'd have a beautiful, like, fall colored leaves. But being able to load and export while preserving this transparency. Um, is essential for that for like I said for these uses for video games um, for websites interfaces in general so uh, camera bags useful for a lot of those things now uh, we hope you'll love it thanks